I'm going to unbox Skies Above Britain, a game designed by Jerry White and Gina Willis, published by GMT Games, which were kind enough to send me this copy. This is a continuation of Jerry White's series of uh, Skies and Storm Above the Reich, which was dealing with air actions above Germany during World War II. This is going to air actions above Britain in World War II, or, or the Battle of Britain, so to speak, which is somewhat you know reminiscent of RAF, the classic RAF uh, Battle for Britain. This is, I have the West End Games version by John Butterfield. I believe this one has been reprinted by several other publishers, and if I'm not mistaken, there might actually be rules in here to link it up with uh, to link this game up with one of those versions of, of RAF. I don't know if it's, I'm going to be so lucky to link it up with the West End one, but uh, that's just the version I, I have. I um, also want to pull out, point out that Jerry White is an uh, award-winning designer. Uh, he was nominated for several Charles S. Roberts Awards for 2022, and his Atlantic Chase uh, brought home some of uh, some of the chrome or the gold or whatever. What, what, what are they giving out these days? Anyway, so I want to congratulate him on that. Uh, also, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it it was Gina Willis that wanted uh, that was encouraging Jerry to kind of bring this design, his his above the Reich designs, over to Britain, and did a lot of the legwork to bring this, uh, make this a reality, and make and take that system and adapt it over to uh, Britain. And and I don't think this is a, a direct port, meaning that I, I don't think it's identical to either one of the Reich series. I think they did some different things in this series, um, but that's my understanding. I, I'm not familiar with his Reich series. I've, I've watched some of this stuff, but I haven't had a chance to play any of those until now, until, until this game right here. I do have some of his, I do have his enemy coast ahead uh, for the uh, raid of, uh, or the bombing of Japan in the Pacific, and he's got another enemy coast ahead, which is the Dam Busters, which I've, I've looked at quite often. Uh, but one thing that uh, Jerry White is kind of known for, you know, is his, his solitaire games, but also his, you know, very detailed uh, sequence of play and, and learning to play. Uh, there's Usually his games have kind of a, a learn-as-you-play type mechanism. Uh, and in fact, his Atlantic Chase um a rule book was up for a Charlie. I can't, I can't remember if it won or not, but it was up for a Charlie because just because of of how uh, of detailed and uh, how much explanation it went into how to play the game. In fact, I think there was numerous uh, game books or rule books in the um, in the Atlantic Chase uh, game or in the box. I mean, there's there a lot of paper in that box. So uh, that's another one that I. Looked a lot, looked at a lot, followed it, but uh, did not pull the trigger on it. And now I'm uh, might be kicking myself for that one for quite some time because that one looks like it was a, a real winner in more ways than one. So let's take a look at the back of the box here. Uh, it's a very thick box. It meets the heft uh, for quality uh, test because this there's a lot in here. Uh, it says right here, skies above Britain. Is a solitaire game depicting a Royal Air Force fighter squadron tasked to disrupt and destroy German daylight bombing raids over southeast England in the summer of 1940. The player's individual aircraft must locate the incoming raid, intercept it, and, and evade or defeat escorting, escorting German fighters. The game simulates the dogfighting and the fighter versus bomber action at an individual aircraft level using a card-assisted system that simulates key tactical decision-making. Uh, skipping down here, unlike its predecessor, Skies Above the Reich and Storm Above the Reich, here the bombers are lightly armed and are at the mercy of the determined interceptors. But the German escort is brutal and their tactical formation of the rot and swarm are difficult to contend with. Skies Above Britain shifts detail from encounters between fighters and bombers to dogfights between fighters, uh, between fighter and escort. So uh, here's the game contents. We're going to dive in here so you'll be able to see that. But a uh, lot of stuff in this box. Uh, this is one player, solo, two plus hours. Complexity is at a five and solitaire is at a nine because this is designed for solitaire play. And you get an example of some of the counters or at least the stickers that go on some of the blocks and some of the counters and then the, the game board itself. So let, let's, uh, let's get into this. 
and see what we have here. Thought I had a little bit of a start here on one of these sides. Maybe not. Maybe not. So, um, love to know. This has been out for a while. So, love to know your thoughts on uh, on this game or on this series. Huh, thought I had a start here. But, um, and either 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 the Reich uh, games or, or this game since it's been out. Uh, what do you think about it? Is it... Uh, what are the what are the similarities? What are the differences? What do you like? What do you don't like? Uh, this this series seems to have quite a bit of a of a following. We can look at the box here. The cover art is very nice. I think that was, I think that was nominated for a Charlie as well. Good thick box. It needs it because there's a lot of stuff in here. Let's pull out just a little bit so we get a little bit better view of some of the stuff in here as you can see there's a lot and this is filled to the brim with stuff uh here skies above britain this is optionals so i assume this is probably optional rules to the game so let's put that off to the side for a second we've got the situation manual so this is probably again uh jerry white's kind of known for kind of his introduction to the game systems and how you learn the game and i imagine this might be part of that introduction Dogfight scenarios, bomber scenarios, intercept scenarios, patrol example, and then campaigns. So this is probably kind of your scenario book of sorts. We'll take a look at that. And that's relatively thick there. Then let's get into the, the rule book. And then that was all the rules there. So this is the rule book itself, which, uh, let's see, I don't see a page number on the back. On the, You have an index on the back. And it looks like you have 62 pages. Yeah. <laughs> 62 pages. Um, his rules are that way. There's a, there's a lot to them. But it's not so much the complexity as it is, you know, walking you through the gameplay. So you have introduction here. Again, this is full color. It uh, looks like it's mostly dual column. But there's so there's a lot of color examples or, or illustrations. So they're going to be pocketed throughout this whole uh, book. You've got some uh, notes here, like for a newbie. You know, start off stickering the, blo the blocks that come in play here. Here's your game space. RAF formations, dogfight cycle. So this is going through a dogfight. What is a dogfight? So, and the, which is, I think, in, in this edition, I think that's going to be the heart of the game. I don't know how that differs from the other ones, but uh, my understanding that dogfights are are kind of the the, the end all be all in this event text. Here's a vantage card example. As you can see, it it really lays it out into you know an explanation. You have not only like you have the three uh, attitudes: head on, tell, telling, and. Uh, of course, you have engaged here, and then it shows, and it has a little bit of a uh, script, and then uh, image to show you how that works as well. Here's your dogfight cycle, sequence of play, maneuvers. So you can see here, there's a lot of examples and imagery in here. Here's the bomber cycle. And the sequence of play for that. And I would imagine that as in the uh, uh, book that talks about scenarios, it probably breaks it down and, and walks you through some real simple examples and then adds more complexity on top of it so that you can actually get up to playing a full game over time. Your orders phase. It's all the different phases here. So... Uh, as you can see, there's a lot here. Uh, and again, I don't know how this differs from the, the Reich series. I imagine this is probably somewhat similar since it's the same system, but I just don't have that familiarity. Raid vector sequence here. So return to base. So pilot experience. Icon results, here's your vector marker icons. And this is something I'm familiar with, like from his Enemy Coast series, that some of these split pages where it will say one thing and then have 
rules over to the side. This looks like it might have some of that same stuff there. Card icons, damage. So there you have it. And I think these are like, these are the different icons like jam guns, loose, loose green pilot, lost contact. So there's your different icons and then a little uh, explanation of what they are. Same over here. And there you have it. And you have an index here on the back. So that is your 62 pages of rules. Then you got your situation manual, which is, this is basically playing the game. So this is play to learn, learn to play. That's kind of, I believe, a consistent uh, philosophy in his games where he kind of takes you through and you learn like the dogfight scenarios. Here's how you set up that. And this is scenario A. So it's going to be really probably a simple setup in, in scenario A. Uh, then scenario two is tailed. So, I mean, you're just going to start adding on concepts. And then after a while, you're going to be getting into, you know, full-blown scenarios. And this shows you what you need to put, like, in cups for drawing and stuff. Uh, how to set up the counters or the, the, um, the planes. So there you have it. So this is, this is basically your, you know, it's going to be your scenario book. And... Uh, as you see, you can see quite a few uh, examples in here. A lot of different scenarios. Uh, this is this is the campaign game here. So when you you kind of graduate to that, this is your uh, 300 level course, right, to get into the campaign. But uh, there's all kinds of different scenarios in here, and it really like this is a patrol example, so it really takes you through it. And there's there's a lot of examples of gameplay. In, in the scenario book itself here, as you can see. So there's your situation manual. And then these are optional rules that you can, I imagine, can add on. Uh, hence the name optional. Uh, to, to once you've, you've got some good feel for the game, you can add on some of these optional rules to add a little bit more simulation or complexity or what have you to the, uh, to the gameplay there. Plus, you got some designer notes. You got a historical pilot roster, designer notes, and bibliography here. I always love stuff that, uh, or games that have quite a bit of history in them. I play the games for the history, so having stuff uh, or having references that kind of go into this context, I always kind of like that stuff. So, there's your optionals. We have some stickers here, not a lot. Uh, this isn't a huge stickering endeavor, but you got some stickers there. Uh, for the blocks that I imagine come with this. You've got a pilot roster there and a squadron log. And this is a little thicker uh, paper here. And it looks like there's different... Um, so these are diff different squadrons. This is the 54 Squadron 303. So you might have some historical uh, pilots there or people there. You've got the game board. It's oh no, this isn't the game board. This is a player aid. Look at this. This is nice player. This is your sequence of play, raid vector sequence, interception sequence, dogfight cycle, bomber cycle, all right there. And then it's a, it's a fold out where you have your vector marker results, icon results, a lot of iconography here. But a, a lot of that is explained, or, or I imagine all of it is explained in that rule book that we flipped through. But you have it here as more of a player aid. So that's that's kind of cool looking. Looks very advanced. Then this is another fold out. This is the interception sequence, just the interception sequence. Then you have pilots, and then raid vector sequence and RTB sequence. So a nice little fold out there. And you've got intercept bombers. So this is trailing. Some charts on that. Intercept escort. Nose, flank, tail, uh, trailing, or cruise check. So a lot of different tables on that. Then you have it for the bombers as well. So quite a few, uh, quite a few charts here. Yeah, a lot of a lot of different charts here. So it's something I'm gonna have to get into. As I said, I don't have as much familiarity with this series, but uh, have always been interested in it. 
Here's your circle display. And it's one sided. Imagine that'd be off to the side. Here's some more uh, pilot rosters. Now these are just blank ones. So those ones I saw I showed you earlier were on a little bit thicker stock. I think those are historical pilots, and these are ones that you can just fill out. You know, so you can make up your own uh, roster of uh, friends and family and put them on here. I remember playing. Uh, B-17, Queen of the Skies, and, you know, adding in names of people, and you want to be too careful how, what names you put in there because you don't want to get too attached to them sometimes. Um, here's the counter sheets. Looks like we've got four counter sheets here, typical uh, GMT stock. And GMT counters come out, and I think, pretty good. I, I'm not a real clipper. I clip some, but not much. And only if I have to, and I usually don't have to on these. And so this game is going to have a lot of status markers uh, because it's uh, it's a solitaire game. It's got a little bit of a operational and keeping track of different things. So you're going to have a lot of different status type markers or administrative type markers in this game. Here are your bomber tiles. So these are the Germans coming into... Uh, British airspace, bomber tile two of two, and those are really large, but on the same stock. But they'll, they'll, I imagine they'll pump out, punch out nicely. And here's some more. See, this is the last counter sheet here. I think these are marking some vectors, low ammo, fallen. So there you have that, and these are double-sided as well. Then we got, ooh, now this is a, a mounted board, but it's a little bit smaller mounted. And you've got advanced squadron display, and then squadron display. So it's dual-sided between regular, I mean between advanced and regular. You've got your green pilots, regular pilots, veteran pilots. Your leader of the squadron, so this is where you're going to be putting some of those administrative markers on uh, on this board here. And that's that's a smaller board, but, but it is still mounted. Then I think we have the main board here. We'll take a look at that a second. We get some blocks here. So there's going to be some sticker in. Then a few cubes in there that are probably just to mark certain things. We get some dice here. Looks like we have two 12-sided dice, blue and red. We have some cards here. So let's uh, let move some stuff out of the way here and see if we can take a look at the, uh, the map or the board. It's not really a map as much as a board. It's single-sided, but this is where you keep track of... A lot of your stuff. Plus, you have some of these charts here, too, that we saw, I think, in other places there. And I might have to go out even more to try to get a full look at this. There we go. Get a little bit more of a look at this board here. So you got some places to put cards. Bomber, tailed, head-on telling, escort, reaction... Luftwaffe Advantage, RAF Advantage. Then you have some tracks here. You have a fuel track, RTB track. You've got a KII box, hospital box, channel recovery, bailout, fate, which did, it looks like you've got engine, elevator, cockpit, rudder, wing, fuselage. So a lot of different, different charts up here. You've got your raid track. Raid vector, visibility. So you got quite a bit of escort suppression table here. So you, again, a lot of uh, veteran privileges here. So let's uh, let's get into these car drill here. So we got escort reaction, and I imagine there might be multiple different cards in this deck. You can see from the color there's a little bit difference in the cards here. Um, typical GMT cards. A little, little thin, but not super thin. Uh, there's no 
finish on is just kind of a slick finish. So this is an Escort Reaction here. See some of those cards. Then we have Tailed. So this is Tailed Hurricane. So these are going to be based on the different... Well, they're all Tailed Hurricane here. Okay. Oh, here's Spitfire. Okay, so these are Tailed Hurricane. So you've got different notations on that so those are tailed hurricane and you've got tailed spitfire and i'm not familiar enough with the game to know what that means but it looks complex <laughs> yeah this is not uh you know your uh this isn't your B-17 Queen of the Skies, where you're just rolling on some charts and moving on down the road. This is, there's a lot more going on here. Here's Head On and Tailing Hurricane. And then you have Head On and Tailing Spitfire. They have like a little bit of a blue back there. So this is... Again, head on and telling Spitfire. You've got RAF Advantage. It's kind of cool. So I said, well, I think once you understand the basics of this game, this all probably makes sense. <laughs> Hopefully it all makes sense, right? We've got here, we've got Luftwaffe Advantage. They're a different color than the RAF. So you have that. Then we've got Bomber Light. Then Medium. So here's your Bomber Lights. It also has light up there in the corner, too. It's got bomber light, bomber medium. And there you have it. There's all your cards. And so I imagine some of that's going to find their way over to this sidebar over here because it looks like you've got a place for, uh, for cards over there. So there are the cards that you get in the game. So uh, that is it. It's cards, uh, board, blocks, dice, your squadron display board, little mounted board there, counters, which are mostly administrative, but also have your like your bomber counters there or holding boxes. You've got a pilot roster, several of those, and those are uh, dual-sided. Or no, that's your squadron log. So you've got your pilot roster and then a squadron log on the back there. Keep track of that. You can always make copies of that. Your circle display, a little bit thicker stock. Your, uh, inter your some player aids here. So we got one, two, three fold-out player displays, some historical ro uh, rosters, and squadron logs on the back there for your 54th and 303. Stickers for the blocks, optional rules, scenarios, and rule book. So there you have it. That is the contents of Skies Above Britain from Jerry, Ry Jerry White and Gina Willis, published by GMT Games, which I want to thank again. And uh, what do you think about all this? Uh, do, do you like the Reich series? Did I say Reich? I think I said Storm of Skies Above Britain, but this is part of the uh, same series of, that did Skies and Storm Above the Reich. 
what do you think about all this? Do you like these series? Do you, is this a, a good, solid game? Is this um, something that you keep coming back to? I'm starting to see a few more videos out there, especially on this one now. So there definitely is some interest in this and some uh, love for this game and for this series. Love to know your thoughts on it. That's what I have for you today. Thank you so much for stopping by. Appreciate it. Uh, would also appreciate you drop a comment and let me know what you think about any of this stuff. But if not, that's okay too. Anyway, uh, take care and happy gaming. <laughs>